All right, welcome to the podcast. This is something new, episode four. Open up with my man Marcus, my slave name. You still going yes, by that, right? Yes, sir. All right, word, word. Yes, Marcus, sir. my slave name. Is there a short version to that name? Uh, sort of, kinda. It's like MMSN. It's like a like an acronym. MMSN. Right. MMSN. Yeah. MMSN. You feel me? It sounds you know? like a little pig Latin. All right, <laughs> so so. MMSN. All right, MMSN. When I get the chain, that's what it's gonna be. That's fire, though. I'm not gonna hold you. MMSN. <laughs> it might be. Shit. Shit. Well, thank you for coming through. Um, you already know, I've man. known you for I've been knowing you for the years. Man. Right. We were just talking back in the day in right. Triple C days. Went to the same college, performing uh, at some of the same shows, or at least being in the same building back then. What was that? 2013, 2014. Yep. Yep. Yeah, 2012, 14, probably for you. 15, yep. yep. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. When we the scene back. was when the scene was young. Exactly, man. Wolves Den day, Skyward days. You feel me, man? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, man. So what have you been up to lately as far as music goes? As far as music goes, man, just keeping alive every day, man. Keeping alive every day. Okay. You know, I'm writing every day, writing in my head. I'm thinking about start writing back down. I've been I've been influenced recently. Yeah, what you been influenced by? I've been influenced by and I don't want people to think that it's by uh that it's from the Hulu show. But I've been Recently influenced heavily by the Wu Tang Clan. I feel you. Man. I feel you. About like two weeks ago, I chilled with one of my managers, my OG. He had put me on. I was never a big listener of the Wu Tang Clan. I really couldn't tell you three or four songs of anything by them. Yeah. I just knew Method Man. I like Method Man. I always like Method Man. He put me on about like, like I said, last two weeks. Man, I can't stop listening since. I just started watching the Hulu show last Tuesday. Man, I'm hooked. Uh-huh. That hooked on everything about him. Man, it remind so good. me of. Pro Era, right? Me, you know, Capital right. Steez, man. Yep. Just, just groups like that in general from New York coming up as a collective and yep. really getting it done. Yeah, it's yep. inspiring to watch. So it I is, understand man. why you're so inspired by it. Mm-hmm. I was sitting there like, yo, this is how boys came up. Ooh, right. That's like, hard. Bro, uh, like, is this what you got to do? Hey, oh, okay, yeah. Like, it's like, it could be a blueprint to some uh, some newer kids coming up. Yeah, no, nah, yep. That's yeah. exactly what I, that's how I you know, that's what I take away from it because they were so, what get me is they were so smart. Right. They was like laying out the blueprint. They was basically saying it was a game and just do it. It's like a chess game, right. you know, and they was big on chess too, mm-hmm. man. OG was big on chess. He was telling me, you know, you just got to play it the right way. You right. Know? Definitely. And I see it in the music right now in Buffalo. Right now, Buffalo having a, you know, renaissance. It's a flourishing. real renaissance, yep. Yep. I see it, man. I see we really, we not that NYC, but we got that. You know, we got that grit and we got that grind. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep. Yep. Music sounds like, it sounds dirty, but it sounds clean at the same time. Right. If that makes sense. Like the grit, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Like it's you like, found that shit outside. Right. You know, <laughs> it, like, what the yeah. fuck is this? Oh my God. It's that polished that's, that's that grit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's that shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like it'll come a time where you could, you can tell a Buffalo artist. Mm. From like the crowd, almost definitely like that because the sound is different up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even if you don't have that same like street sound, or you know what I mean, like you you still use the vernacular, like you still have like the slang of Buffalo and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Like I was watching. um, Was I? I was watching a Vlad inter or not Vlad? um, Rob Markman interview Mm -hmm. with Benny. Okay. And I'm sitting there. I was like, mm. yo, this nigga really is Buffalo. Right. Like, I love this shit. Like, so this nigga like my cousin. Like, is yeah, exactly. Like, right. You could really, like, you listen to him talk and, like, his mannerisms. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, yeah. See? It's like I know this dude. Right. Yeah, everybody right. from the town is just, like, is similar. It's a Buffalo It's nigga, similar man. in a way that, you know, the, the movements and everything like that. So, ain't, ain't. I just enjoy that. You can't, you can't put a, you can't categorize a buffalo nigga, man. We, right. we one of a kind. <laughs> that's a fact. It's so weird to say, but that's right. just a fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So when you um were back in with Skyward, yeah, as um you, Travi Cope, mm-hmm. More Perp, yep. um, man, you as Blair Cope, right? Uh, Miles B. Yep. How do you how do you go from that to what happened to to that? Let's just say that what happened to that collective. That that's a good question too, bro. Yeah. So not many people know this, but man, that collective is still around, but it's more it's less of a collective and more of a brotherhood, man. Okay, right. Like, you know, we all we all do our own thing individually, but it's all love in between us. We all chill. We all link. Mm-hmm. We all bounce ideas off each other. 
all get inspired from one another. But I think it kind of happened organically. You know, we just we just all seen our own individual lanes and our own way to, you know, go about and prosper from them. And at the same time, life hit every one of us like it, it do all of us. Right. But um, so a lot of people, I get that question, too, from people. They be like, yo, yeah, man, Skyward, man. I remember y'all back in the talent show at school. I be thinking, like, man, yeah, I don't know. We still here. We just mm. don't go by that, you know. But when people, people when they see us together, they know, you know, or, or when they see one of us, they know the somebody else or the other one probably not too far. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So y'all all still very tight. Yeah. That's the friend group. Yep. I kind of think of it as, like, if you remember um, what I be thinking in my head, that's what I be thinking, how I be compared it in my head. If you remember the Black Hippie group, with Kendrick oh, Lamar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. as Soul, Schoolboy, and uh, mm-hmm. J-Rock. Yep. They don't really go by that no more, but they, you know, they are tight, right. tight-knit. Right, But, mm-hmm, but right. they doing their own thing. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so talk about a little bit what you got coming up, what you're cooking. I know you said you're getting back to writing. Mm-hmm. And, and I know before we had talked about some stuff, you said you're getting back into music heavy. Um, yeah, what, man. We're getting a new project together, right? Yeah. So tell me a little mm-hmm. bit about that. So yeah, man. I just been, I just been, man. I just, I just been gathering ideas. I've been gathering feels, vibes, sounds, everything. See, when I make music, and it's, I can't, I can't categorize it. I can't. It's not a, it's not a ritual. It's not a method or process. It just, it could come from anything sporadically. So I just try to, I just try to be in the present at all times. So, you know. Whenever I do get that motivation, I'm right there. I can, I can, I can draw. I can draw from it, or I can pull from it, or I can, you know, tap into that mold. Um, what I'm trying to do now is, I'm, I'm trying to, I guess, break down any barriers or any categories that people, you know, would, or genres. You know, that's that's the big word, genres. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to make genre free music. I don't want people to be able to put my music in a genre. So a lot of times when I write music, like most of my songs are never come out. I write stuff all the time people don't know, but I never release them for like, and this is for years, I never release them because it's like, man, that song don't go along the lines of the last song I made or that's something completely different than the last one, man. Man, it's we about to be in 2020, man. Right. Whatever you come into your head, you got to get out. Right. No matter what. That's and, that's, and that's what I'm focusing on. I don't know if it's going to be EPs. Little projects, albums, mixtapes, or all singles, whatever it is. I could put a auto tune track out one day. I might feel some boom back the next day. It's coming out, man. I just wanna, I just wanna flood or right. saturate, man. Right. Saturate the market, the streets. Right. You know, definitely kinda. feel you. You know, like the year coming up, 2020, is the beginning of a transitional period mentally. Anyway, that's like, well, it. It's not even the beginning; it's already started. Yep. But mm-hmm. um, now coming into it, like yeah, mm-hmm. like you said, you need to get everything out. You cannot sit on things anymore. Yep. That yep. time is dead. You really right. should have been using these past couple years to like really train yourself to yeah. do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you didn't, I mean, like now it's time to really do it. Yeah. If you're listening to this and you're sitting there like. Should I do music? Should I do something creative? Should I draw? Should I go write poems, books, whatever? Do it right now. Yep. If, if you, you haven't started yet. If you do that shit every day when you get home from school or wherever, when you get home, if that's always on your mind when you're at work and you do it and you don't tell nobody or anything, man, just put it out, Just man. do it, yeah. Nobody gives a fuck what anybody think, man. Do it for right. yourself. It's 2016 right now. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're all right. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, man. Um, have you have you got anything in works with the Skyward guys? Oh, like, always. Like, okay. Oh yeah. See, we we never anything you anything music you're together. ready to like release soon is what I'm asking. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah me and me, Travi, Perp, and Puff got some stuff. Got some heat. We got some heat that we been working on. Oh, Puffy was in uh, Skyward too. Yeah, so oh my, was it, uh, Dayron also in Skyward? Yeah, so that's another oh, thing shit. about so Skyward. It was I'm like, thinking it's Puffy and Dayron as like a duo. They because we had them. That's how we had them on the interview. Uh, okay, the Wolves Den before. Right. Yeah. Right. They basically is a duo. So it, like that's the thing. Well, the reason why I think Skyward kind of I won't say disappeared, but kind of um, you know like diminished is because we didn't want to make it so exclusive, or you know to where 
it was like, I want to be, I want to join that group. Because we was having, you know, our friends from high school or, like, maybe our best friends that didn't make music or whatever hitting us up, trying to chill with us. We ain't want them thinking they couldn't chill with us right. and hang with us just because they don't, they don't make music. They in the group. So that's why we made it more of a collective, more of a brotherhood, more of, you know what I mean? If you... If, if we chill, if we cool with you, or if we if we cool in general, you know what I mean. We chill. We got the we like minded. It's skyward, man. Because at right. the end of the day, skyward stands for man up. That's all it means towards right. the sky, man. For sure. Mm-hmm. Just have skyward records. Yeah, you know. At right? that point, yeah, Shit, exactly. that might be the goal, man. Hey, Amen. I just told Reese yesterday. He was like, you know what I want? I want a bar downtown. Mm, really? And I was like. I was like, yeah, man, I feel you. A lot of people want bars and stuff nowadays. I was like, what you going to call this? I don't even know. I was like, listen to this, and you can have this idea. I Mm. was like, how about this? Reese's, right? So Reese's in the font, because in the font of Reese's, like, Buttercups, yeah, peanut butter cups, that'd be true. That'd be and then hard. have the the scheme orange and brown. And he was like, "Yo, that's definitely happening." And I was like, "Yeah, that'd be sweet." So have like an orange wall in there, and that'd be the one orange piece. See, something eclectic, you know. Come on, Reese, man. Yeah, you heard that, man. You're gonna have to owe Scotty five percent for that. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, like, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even want. I told him, I just look. I just want to get in for free. Right. And, and right. I want. I want you to have a stage. And I want you to have a VIP section. And anytime I come, I want the VIP right, section. Right, at all times. At all times. I want my name. Right Scotty there. up there every night. Like, <laughs> yo, you think it's Scotty be at Reese's all the time. Like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can never get in there. <laughs> Picture on the wall, all that, man. On the wall. <laughs> <laughs> they spend all um all of our records in, in the town. That's all you spend is Buffalo records. Yep. Ooh. That'd be true. That's hard. That's some serious. That'd be too. hard, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that other shit. Yup. That's, that's a good idea. You know, you don't hear a lot. You don't hear a lot of people talking about other type of business ventures, you know, like a bar. Right. That's a that's something big. My right. uncle got a bar, man. That's hell, hell yeah. That's what's mm-hmm. up. What bar is it? Yeah, my uncle got a bar. It's called here, real quick. You know, product placement. Here we go. Right, Shout right. out. Shout it's out. It's called the four one six. Okay. Now, it's on um four. It's on four sixteen William downtown. Okay. Named after the four one six, you know, play on words seven one six right. downtown. Right, right, yep, but that's, that's the, cool. That's the Addy, yep. Hell yeah, mm. gotta get in there one day. You feel me? Shoot, come down, man. He sure. get his lit, man. For sure, hell shout yeah. Shout out, Unc. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Unc. <laughs> um, damn, what was I gonna say about the uh, about the bars and stuff? Are you were saying that uh, um, they'd be playing all Buffalo music? I remember. Yeah, Big mm-hmm. Skull was telling me he got a Buffalo exclusive playlist on Spotify. Word. It's just all Buffalo music. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, so like you tell him like you got shit on Spotify, he's gonna put you on there. Sure, that's it's tight. It's like five hundred songs. Word. Hell yeah. See? Come on, so, shout so, out so, Skull so for that. shit like that. Yeah, definitely shout out Big Skull. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. We were sitting there talking about ancient aliens. For real? And I was uh-huh. talking to Reese about aliens. I think he was mm-hmm. I was like, Reese, you believe in aliens? He was like, I don't believe in none of that shit, uh, bro. Uh, <laughs> Reese, no. You believe in the aliens, bro? Of course. This is not going to be a theme, by the way. I'm not talking to everybody about fucking aliens. I just, this is just recent. We did these interviews in the last few days. See? <laughs> so it's fresh on my mind. Aliens, you said, of course. Of course. See, this course. question only came up for a reason, man. Oh, shit. See? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit! You gotta think aliens is real, man. See me personally, I think I'm an alien, man. Kanye think he a god. I think I'm an alien. Okay. I don't care, man. My rap sound like they was made in outer space. Mm. I'm an alien. You gonna hear it in the music? I'm gonna be referring to some wild shit. Probably won't know what it's called. Right. It's just you gotta get on it. Word it's up. a cosmic thing, man. Right, right, right. Okay. I'm really looking forward to this, man, because I enjoyed Skyward and I, Pesos. You feel me? Come I enjoyed Pesos hardest. I got my little brother on that shit, too. Yeah, see? Hell yeah. Man. Pesos. <laughs> I'm getting money for the whole crew dollars. You feel me? Uh, do you still have that? I do. You do? Mm-hmm. Can you send that to me? I'll yeah. play it, I'll play it on here, so uh, I'll play it right now. Uh, I'm getting money for the whole crew I bet you win your team, they never knew I'm getting money for the whole crew Stacking that paper, call it revenue Get that revenue, get that, get that revenue See, I get that revenue, I just, I get that revenue 
I'm getting money for the whole crew. The whole crew. Stuck in that paper, call it revenue. Oh, my nigga, he know. We some ordinary people getting high like C notes. You bout it, but I'm bout it, bout it like the start of repost. And all these less important people think they fucking neo. But I'm like, you ain't the one, cuz. Sipping it, rolling your bitches. I know I'm like kids. I be poking her over and over. She drunk and I'm sober, so I'm taking over. I'm feeling lucky like a seven leaf cover. No bullshit, live back to the fullest. Cause niggas die every day, any day, anyway. Never say never. You never think clever. You'll never be better than me on the melody. Killing the living, these niggas is dead to me Sipping the syrup, I'm up like I'm 70 Chasing the money, let it stay ahead of me I'm in them bed with me And I'll fuck this bitch like AIDS don't exist And as soon as I get the job, I wanna raise Or I quit, bitch Revenue, 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 revenue I'm getting money for the whole crew I bet you win your team, they never knew I'm getting money for the whole crew Stack in that paper, call it revenue. Get that revenue. Get that, get that revenue. Yeah, I get that revenue. I get that, get that revenue. I'm getting money for the whole crew. Stack in that paper, call it revenue. My pockets weighted from stuffing in so much paper. Now my pants set cause they heavy. I broke the bank like a levy in New Orleans. In the center, just a saint, tell we on leave. Fucking every yo surrounding to a saw cream. You won't understand the lyrics that he on screen. Get it? No, cause you ain't read it. Too bad you a pussy, because daughters go to heaven. And me and my team always in 7 Eleven. Getting food every night cause we hired in Mac and Devin. Devin, Devin, Devin. Getting your rolls and pesos and spending pounds on pounds. I done smoked about so much weed that I ain't gonna bear to come down. Uh, shorty repping my town. Uh, she be showing me up. I be showing her down. down. I be GTH. What you got against that, nigga? I be going the hardest just to get the those figures. I'm getting money for the whole crew. I bet you win your team, they never knew. I'm getting money for the whole crew. Stack in that paper, call it revenue. Get that revenue, get that, get that revenue. Yeah, I get that revenue, I get that, get that revenue. I'm getting money for the whole crew. Stack in that paper, call it revenue. All right, we played it. Hey, cool. We already know. We already know like how I feel about how you feel about it. So there's no need to react. It's just a classic Buffalo track. See, Skyward shit. You know. Man, me and Pert made that long ago. Definitely, I was still in high school. Well, he was. We was both still in high school. I was a senior though. Yeah. And man, we just linked one night. He came to the crib. Got it done, man. He lived right behind me and shit, so. Oh, word. That's easy. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Yeah, I went to um, Cleve Hill. Yep. For shout out Cleve Hill. I know shout a lot of people Cleve went Hill. to Cleve Hill. Man, speaking of that, yo, before I came here today, <laughs> I was just seeing something. I don't even mean to change the subject. No, no, you good. This is open but up. We talking about anything. You know, you know, I don't want to, I don't know if I'm giving, you know, fuck it. I'm going to bring a, I'm going to bring light to the situation. I don't know if it's real because you can't believe everything you see on the internet. Right. You know, wink, wink. But, um, so I seen this post. <laughs> It was like the top five most, it was like the top five schools in Western New York for discrimination, bullying, mm. and something else. Wow, okay, let's hear this list. And they had, I don't remember, I remember, uh, tss, God, I remember CSAT was number five. It, okay. was, it was top five, CSAT was the fifth one. Uh, I don't remember the first one, but um, number two was Cleve Hill Middle School. Uh, I was middle like, school, yeah, damn. middle school, though. I'm like, damn. what? Y'all doing the kids like that? Right, man. <laughs> What's That's going on up. these days, man? It's fucked up, man. <laughs> happy, happy we got in and out when we was when we was young. Facts. Back then, I was sitting there like my graduating year. I was like, damn, these other kids, they fucking wild. <laughs> Tell over, them man. What the fuck is wrong with these kids? Yep. Shit. Yep. I looked at my brother's uh, graduating class. His class, like at his school, tapestry wasn't that bad. Yeah. Like there were some good ass kids. Like as far as like good humans. That's good. Yeah. That's good. See. That's what you always want to see. But like mm -hmm. I was just seeing some other classes like. Mm. 
Yeah, boys. Oh, they, they, they ruthless, and then, and then man. another thing too is like the kids nowadays are just different. Yeah, they are. They're just way just, different. Yeah. As far, I'm talking about as far as like the social change and all that, like getting involved mm-hmm. with that stuff. Yep. They're so outspoken, and like being outspoken is good, but like there's a line. Yeah. And nah, sometimes yeah. y'all need y'all ass whooped. Exactly. <laughs> like, listen, oh, you, you know? know, you don't know what you're talking mm-hmm. about. Shut the fuck up. Like this is not the political one either. That's you know, drinks it, that's drinks at five. Shout out John Jeffrey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, like that. Like that's what me and my me and my boy Jack, um, was the link with. Uh, he said me and him be talking about that. You know what I mean? Nowadays, you know, kids or people in general just need their ass beat. Right. Like, back when we was going, that's how bullying was. Maybe you, it'd be a fight or something. Now, man, you might have been acting like an asshole. Yeah, like a right. Stupid, uh, you might have been acting like a goofy ass kid. Right. And yep. then somebody like, listen, you need to stop doing this, and you mm-hmm. keep on being goofy, pop, pop, pop. Right. Okay, now you're no more goofy. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you learn your lesson. Now you no. pop, 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 no more goofy. <laughs> yeah, it's no more goofy, but I'm I'm coming to right. light this bitch up yep. with or, the <laughs> utmost ease. It's like, yeah, right. what? You know, like, or like you go home and like, the kid, God forbid, commit suicide. Or that, yeah. It's, or it's freaking, a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of that nowadays. You know, or you go to school or something. Something happened, you know, maybe the kids make fun of your son and you go home, next thing you know, you a meme. You right. viral. And that's like, that's hey, worse. That's worse. I feel right. like that's worse. Yeah. Like, that's a that's a good point. That shit is crazy, man. It is wild. I be feeling I don't know, man. I be feeling bad, but then at the same time it's like make you into a gif. Yeah, you know, it's like, like the kid who the little black kid was sitting there with the cup in his hand, just like uh, you know what I'm talking about? The awkward kid. Oh yeah, yep. Mm, he's a looking meme. Like, he's yeah. a meme forever, bro. Forever. Oh, yeah. That's so relatable. Just like yep. the uh I don't know what you talking about. Waka is a meme <laughs> forever. Forever, like <laughs> Like it's so many it's so many people that aren't famous that are meme famous. Yep. Yep. And it's which just is wild. nuts. Which is nuts. <laughs> That's crazy <laughs> to even think about, yo. What That's would you do if you crazy. were a meme? Uh, like a viral one, Ooh, one that know, everybody man. uses for everything. At that point, I'm set. I'm done, <laughs> well, point, I'm I'm done set. with music. I'm done rapping, y'all. <laughs> y'all it's over. You know. You gonna do walkthroughs off the memes? <laughs> right. You know? That's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> you gotta do comedy videos. Now. You know, right? All right. At that point, fuck around, do a TED talk out here, man. Like, Yo, a TED talk. Mm-hmm. I became a meme. By right. Marcus yeah. by Slave Link, By MMM. M- M- <laughs> fuck. I forget, what is it? MMM. MMSN. MMSN. Yup. Yup. What does that sound like? That sounds like some language. It do? MMSN. Yeah. It kind of It sounds do, like yeah. Japanese. Uh. MMSN. Uh. Like Sumimasen. Come on. Uh. I ain't speaking my language. Yeah. Scotty, come on, M- man. MMSN. Yeah. Ooh. You got to do something with that. I know you said you right. got the chain. You're right. Yeah, the chain got to come. Hell yeah. The chain definitely What's the chain going to look like? You know, baguettes. You know, all the now I'm playing. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Not a watch. <laughs> uh, nah, nah. I ain't going to get nothing flashy. I ain't even that type of jewelry person. Right. I might get, I don't know. I'm definitely not a watch person either. I don't even wear watches to begin right. with. But you know, the funny thing is, people fucking wear watches and then look at their phone for the time. It's yeah. like, mm-hmm. why do you have that? That shit off. You could have saved a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, sure, right. Who are you telling, man? I be seeing it too, man. Yo, if you were, um, if you drop a project, it's a hypothetical. You drop a project tomorrow. Okay. Shit is fire. Everybody loves it. Mm. Record label comes up to you, yo, mm. MMSN. You know, we trying to hit you with. Five million dollars signing bonus. Mm. One, are you taking it? Oh wait, um, and of course, there's a bunch of label bullshit under that. Right. Stipulations, what you can and can't do, all that shit. Right. They own so 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 so. Five million dollars signing bonus today. You get that okay. check today. Um, one, are you taking it? And if so, what are you doing with the money? Uh, off rip. Man, that's a hard one, man. He said five. M's. Let, let's see, five million for five albums. For five albums? Yep. Okay. All right. All right. I give a time frame on it. Right. Sure. And it's got to be done within seven years. Okay. You gotta drop five in seven years. That's the stipulation. That's the that's the big overarching stimul stipulation. See. Oh man, that's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. 
Because, man, if you would have asked me this question, like, a month, two months ago, I'd be like, hell nah, fuck that. Right. But now, man, it's just all about your mindset, you know what I'm saying? Like, a deal, you know what I mean? It ain't always the best thing, but it could be. The, it's, it's like everything is what you make it, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, people in the industry, you know, get screwed over from t- some type of deals or whatever or, or anything, but it's not everyone. And, you know, certain people maneuver themselves in certain ways to try to get the most out of it. Mm. So I'm thinking, man, five M's tomorrow. No, today. Today. Oh, today. Oh, yeah, you dropped the album. Yeah, you dropped the album tomorrow, and then they hit you. You're like, yo, the, at the date of us asking you this, you get the check today if you come sign. Shoot, I'm going to say, man, this is... Five man, they gonna look at this. They gonna look at this interview years from now. They gonna be like, "Oh, look at this. He done changed. He changed." <laughs> I'm gonna say, yeah, "I'm gonna take it, man. I'm gonna take it." Okay. I'm gonna take so it. You're gonna, yeah. you gonna take the five M's. Got to, five man. albums, I'm seven take, years. Yep. I'm gonna take that bread. I'm gonna freaking. I'm gonna take one M of it. And go from there with the music. I'm gonna take the next four. Just disperse it into different streams of income, man. Okay. Yeah, we got to get out. That's another reason, too, with the label thing. You know, we can't... Music is... Music is everything. is awesome, but we can't make it our only grind, you That's know? a fact, right. Can't make it our only hustle, man. Right. Definitely got to Because people aren't buying albums anymore. You're right. They not. don't even make CDs, mm-hmm. for real. You can make CDs, but, like, they're not making CDs. You can go to Best Buy, because Best Buy don't sell CDs. Target See? doesn't sell CDs. Come on. Right. Mm. So, like, who cares? <laughs> well, you know what they do sell? What? Fucking vinyl. Really? Why is vinyl back? Really? They do, uh. yeah. There's a huge vinyl section in Best Buy. Shoot. Big vinyl section in Barnes & Noble. They still sell CDs, though. But big vinyl uh. section in Barnes & Noble. I'm probably in Target, too. It's just like, what's going on? That's that's kind of dope. That's hot. Shoot. I'm not going to tell you, that's hot. Mm. But what's going on? Why are we going backwards? It might be a good thing, man. Maybe it might we, be. Maybe we might be getting back to that. That, that that good where, music where man. everybody has crates right right you know where it's more of like uh, i don't even know how to what's the word where it's like uh because it's, it's more nostalgia of a, yeah right it's more of like you more um you more uh, oh, man, i don't even know like integrated in it is not because we move in this age of information everything's so digital everything is so like money is digital now like it's you more immersed in it, you know what I'm saying? More ta- like more more things tangible. Like I think that's a good thing, man. That's and a step le- in the right direction. Unless I think. unless this is what they're doing, and I don't know because I'm ignorant and haven't bought a vinyl. I have one. Uh, that I got signed by a band, but that's hey. neither here nor there. Um, maybe what they're doing is they you buy the vinyl. Inside the vinyl is a code to download the album digitally, okay. right? So you have the piece at home. You got your little record player. You can set that there whenever you want and mm-hmm. have that like nice, crisp, nostalgic sound and have the digital because there's no more CD players in cars. You're right. And that's why You're that's right. how you get it. Mm. And that's how that's mm. how the, the labels are trying to get money back because there's no CD sales and vinyl mm. costs more than CDs. True. True. Yo, I did I, see did I just unlock the code? You feel me? You better watch out, Sky. And we coming for you, man. <laughs> oh shit! I mean, why would they come? They shouldn't come for me. I'm the one sitting here telling them, like, "Yo, that's a great idea." Nah, you're right though. It is. It is. Mm. It is, mm. man. And if you're a good enough artist, like, like I know Griselda and them boys, they sell all a vinyls. Yeah. Which yeah, is insane. Man. Big ups to them, man. That's yep. something. Me coming, I'm only 25, born in '94. I was never even. Hell yeah. That was past my generation. So right. to see. A, a, you know a local rap a rap group that's modern and local to be pushing vinyls that's like and it's not just you know? one of them it's all of them yeah, it's yeah all, all of them, them have right. vinyl yeah mm-hmm. that's great to see it's like a whole new experience for me that's I a fact you know, right like, hey. and at the end of the day it's like you look around like you got you got all the people who are bubbling in the city it's like why listen to anything else exactly there's so mm-hmm. much range we got r&b singers here right. that sound amazing yeah they got mm-hmm. people who rap that sound like they on already like it's why listen to anything else? The radio you know? bullshit, and it's right. and like at the end of the day, the music out here is not really that bullshit, which You're is right. even crazier. It's like real <laughs> life shit. Exactly. It's yep. like, oh my god! And now some people do have the bullshit, mm-hmm. but you know there's a place for everything. Yeah. And the bullshit sounds great. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Know. So, yeah, Buffalo is definitely on the way, man. Seven one six. This shit is. Ooh. Man, we we ooh. here, man. We definitely here. Not only us, Rochester too. You can look yeah. up there. They got the battle rappers. Yep. We got battle rappers down here, but 
for some reason, I feel like Rochester is more of that battle scene. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Mm, more, um, I can see it's more, you know, more competitive. Right. Versus here is more, um, it's like more creative, I was not, I don't, I don't know if that's the best word, but it's more like, you know, people bouncing ideas, people more it's, linking it's together. More, it's more happening down here, I would say. Yeah, like, yeah. It's more definitely. people doing it. Mm-hmm. At together, a higher level. Do, yeah, yeah, yeah. And together, yeah. Mm, versus that, you know, it's just competition. Right. But at the same time, man, I think that competition is something cool. Of course Because you don't see people in the street, like, you don't see cats in the street, and I'm seeing this from that Wu-Tang show, man, that shit fire, y'all, watch that drink, but I'm seeing this, like, you don't see people in the streets, you know, ciphering, right. just like, even if y'all in the same group, even if y'all are boys, just going back, just fooling around, right. but still just throwing different, you know, just throwing bars, right. you know, right. you, like, you don't see that, it's not like, I don't know, you just don't see it, you see more people just trying to, it's more artsy, trying to create art, rather right. than, uh, yeah, like, back then, I don't think that was their main focus was all right their main focus was having fun trying to you know come up with something that uh something clever that'll make their man's laugh right and then something try to top that and top right. that right like, that's a fact you know yep yeah man we but that's the thing buffalo is we got that mixture of both man i think we do we got that grisota playing a big role too huge role kicking the door down yeah for sure yep yep and they and they they got that they got that, I don't know, man. They got that classic sheen to them, that polish That's to them. A fa- you know? Yeah, there you go. Yup. Yup. It's like they age, you know. They just getting popping mm-hmm. now, but they like. But they, they're they seasoned already. Right. It's mm-hmm. already seasoned, coming there fresh. Yup. Yup. Okay. Yep. I see I see you. I see you. Definitely. All right, on that wave. We here, man. Yeah, man. So what else do you want to talk about? Shoot, sure, man. Um. It's your time to shine. Let the people know about MMSN. Okay. <laughs> All right. One thing, too, I want to talk about with my music. No. I was kind of what I was saying earlier. It can come out of nowhere. It don't got to represent anything or it can represent everything. But I make it. I do it as a form of expression more than anything. Mm. So that, like. That's why it could go from maybe a fool around auto tune track to a hardcore, you know, I'm t- the rhyme scheme crazy track, but I might mess around and like the auto tune one more than the other one, or the auto tune one might just vibe with me a certain way. Because mm. at the end of the day, I think it's about that feeling, man, that vibe. Right. Like you were saying, you know, like I like used to saying the bullshit. It'd be good at times, right. you know. Like it's all about it's all about a balance too, you know. Like sometimes you ready for it, sometimes you, sometimes you, in a mood for something, sometimes you. It's all about you know everybody in different, everybody different people. With me, I'm I'm, I swear I'm like seven different people in one. I feel you. So like it's gonna be hard. I'm just saying this so if people think you know it's hard to follow my music, I'm not really making it to be followed. You know some some songs might sound like a story, some songs might sound like a simple call and response tune. Right. But. You know, it just it is what it is for that moment, man. For whatever the present, whatever vibe I'm feeling in the present, that you know, what I mean, keep us alive, keep us from being freaking subdued by these demons, by all our inner demons, because we all got them, man. Mm-hmm. We all got them. But yeah, I just don't. Uh, another thing too, I want to say, man, I think, I think. A lot of the Buffalo artists need to um, kind of adopt that king mentality, you know. Mm-hmm. They say like a king demand. They say like a king demands respect. I think, like like we saying, like we pop and we here. I think that's another reason how Grizzilda got so big. How they did. They demand. They knew what they had. They knew right. they was gold, and they demanded that. You know, they demanded, they demanded their respect. respect right. You know, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of go along with what's it, uh, Master P was saying with like. He was saying, like, if what the label offered him something, or if the label offered me, like, a mill or something, I knew I'm worth at least three, five, three, four, five times more than that. Right. You know? <clears throat> yep. And so it's pretty much what you're saying is ad- adapt the mentality of not settling. Yeah. Yeah. Non settle mentality. Definitely that. Definitely that. Yep. And just, man, okay. just let go, man. A lot of people be trying to fit in a certain 
boxes, clicks, right. sections, categories, man. If it work, it work for you, man. It work for some people, man. People blowing up out here. You got 14-year-olds blowing up out right. here looking like they t- growing as hell. I'm I'm <laughs> right. I'm hearing some new I'm hearing new stuff every I listen to I try to find new artists every day and I hear them. They sound grown, they look grown. I find out they like 15 years old. I'm like, man. And some of them live that life. Some of them really do live that life. Some of them know that they can market that life. You right. know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, me personally, I just be me, man. I don't be caring. I don't care what nobody, what nobody right. thinking me, man. You got to do it for yourself. Right. You just go after what you got. Mm-hmm. For sure. Go at it. Yep. Yeah, man. So off topic of music. What up? What's your favorite animal? Oh. How much time we got, Scotty? <laughs> yeah, you say, yo, listen. <laughs> we get into these questions. This is a real interview. This is this is really why yeah, we came, man. Right, exactly. We really want to know. <clears throat> no, we're at a uh, half hour. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Um, The last and... ones were like an hour or so. Okay. So, I mean, you don't have to sit for a whole hour talking about nothing. Okay. It's man. totally up to you. As y'all going to find out. As y'all, man. My last song, I think I put. Yeah, my last song I put out. The title was the name of my favorite anime, chapter one. My favorite anime is One Piece. Okay. For people that don't know, it's about pirates. I love pirates. I, I think I, I think of myself as a pirate, which is probably why I act the way I do. Uh, yeah. My last song I put out was called Romance Dawn. That's the name of the very first chapter of mm. that anime. Mm. And Are you caught up with One Piece? I am caught up. Wow. Scotty. Wow! I I read the chat. I read the latest chapter today before I came over here. It just came out today. Damn. Okay. <sighs> I'm perfect just, timing. Shit. Perfect timing. I, that's what I was doing, man. Before I, before we had this, I was reading that chapter, man. I'm gonna just say, there we go. So we can get a timestamp. So we can get an idea where the story at right now. Just to say the, the no spoiler because I'm not the type of dude. But the name of the chapter that came out today that I read today. The name of the chapter was Ultimate. For the people mm. that know, they know, man. It's definitely, okay. people saying it's the best, the, the number, the best chapter in the whole series. So wow, far. the best chapter. Yeah, damn. How yeah. many chapters is it? Like five hundred eighty-eight. Nah, a thousand. Yeah, because that's how you know I read that, man. I watch it. You know, I'm in the anime heavy, man. Sky, you know, man. Right. He is too, man. That's another reason why we link, why we click so heavy, man. Yep. I watch the anime. I read the mangas and all that. One Piece guy. I think today chapter. I think the chapter that came out today, Ultimate, was like nine hundred fifty-seven. 58 or something. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and One Piece has been going for years. How, ma- how many years? Man, 20 at least, I think. Definitely early 90s before Jesus. we was born. You going to mm-hmm. watch uh, One Piece with your uh, son oh, when you yeah. get older? Oh, definitely, man. See, I don't think we even said anything. You feel me? Like, yeah. That man, I'm going to be with him. One Piece probably gonna keep going. It's probably gonna be probably. You know he gonna be growing watching it still. Right. One day, whenever it end though, it's gonna be a sad day. He gonna he gonna look at me. He just gonna know. He gonna know <laughs> something up with dad, man. <laughs> Are your son is two, right? He just turned two. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Yup, man. Happy belated birthday. What's his name? Me. Bryson, man. Bryson, happy belated birthday yep. to Bryson, man. That's the guy. That's the king, man. For sure. Hell yeah, man. I man, two years old, man. If I die today, he pick up where I left off. Got two. Yup. Definitely. You feel me? That's how you gotta look at it. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's another thing too. Like the um, the men nowadays, like our age, mm-hmm. are really standing up for their kids. Yeah. Whereas, how we had it, like we might some people in our age group, I mean, um, might not have had that parental figure in their life. You right. Um, to to get them to where they are today, mm-hmm. they just did, like we got to where they are today now just off the strength. Right, you know, having a strong mom, having a family backup, or having you know the streets to go to, mm-hmm. like that's the the reality of it. It's where you get gangs and shit like that from. Yep, yep. Um, somebody trying to find family belonging mm. outside of the house. Um, so shout out to all the dads that are there now for Big the shout kids, out to man. All the dads, man. For sure, that's super important. Yep. That's very overlooked. So, you know what, man, I just want to say that. Oh, by the way, too, so One Piece is your favorite anime. I actually asked you what your favorite animal was. 
Oh, you said animal. Yeah, Look animal. That. That's how y'all know. That's how y'all know. That's, that's my <laughs> the life. mind is on one piece that's right my now, life. man. Yo, just so y'all know, man. Mu- I do music is separate. Anime is my. Nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> man, my favorite animal. That's a good question, bro. Ah, oh, man. That's between. I'm not even going to get no specifics, but I'm going to just say it's between a monkey and a bird, man. Okay. Yeah, I like monkeys, and I like. I told you I'm a pirate, man. Right, right. I like monkeys and birds, man. <laughs> I feel you. You know? You know what a pangolin is? Nah, what is that? Watch what? this shit. You like Pokemon, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Watch this shit. This sh- I showed Big Scotus. He was like, what the fuck is Yo, that? <laughs> It's better not be some shit they out here making in these labs out here. Oh, y'all, no, y'all no, watch no. out, Th- man. This is an endangered species. <laughs> okay. Mm. And you you, I, you said you know Pokemon, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to be like, you lying to me right now. Look at that shit. Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, what? That's like wrong. Son. <laughs> they eat those. What? Yeah, it's an exotic animal. People eat them? They eat them, yeah. That's that they wicked the, shit. They take the scales. Like, yo... Yeah, pangolin. What? That's definitely a Pokemon. I don't know right. the name of that joint, but Sand I know true. it. Yeah, yep. Yeah, Sand mm-hmm. true and Sand Slash. Come on. That's definitely where they got that from. Mm. Shit, it's crazy out here. True. That might be my new favorite animal, y'all. Right. You know <laughs> no, for real. I'm pretty sure they, like, roll up in balls, too. Yeah? Yeah, so, like, shan- Sand true's a real thing. Mm, like, just yeah. without the giant claws. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like a, it reminds me of, like, an armadillo, but, like, a... But like raw, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Like an earlier ancestor at <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's still around somehow. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nope. Yeah, man. I always like to show people the pangolin. It's just a weird animal. There's tons of other weird animals out there. You said it's called a, a pangolin. 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 Yeah. P a n g. O l i n. Pangolin. I'm gonna. I'm a, yeah. Look I'm, into them. They're man, it's an interesting man. little thing. It's I'm gonna meet one of them joints one day before I die. How would you say? That's on a bucket list right now. I gotta to meet one. Yeah, but I gotta link with one. Oh, word, uh, no, dead ass word. You Get it on me? track. Mm, right, right. It might sound crazy. Right, put it into a loop. No, for real though. They make like <laughs> right. some weird shit. Just like, what probably the would fuck? though. <laughs> make that joint. Sample that joint. Make it to like a synth or something. Or something. Right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Cool. Life is weird, man. That's my fact. Definitely weird. If you could pick two places to travel right now, no issue with the money, cost, nothing, where are you going? I'm going t- two places in no particular order. Yeah. Uh, Antarctica. Okay, okay, okay. Japan. Antarctica and Japan. Ooh. Yeah. Are you a flat earther? Ha, 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 ha. Yes and no. Oh, okay. No, let's dive into this. Yes let's, and let's, no. let's hear. Let's hear the reasons. <laughs> Need to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to God. Shout out to God, man. He put me on, man. I ain't gonna day dates, man. But he know who he is, man. He in the he in the scene. He in the scene. Okay. It's, it's, it's a brother. It's my brother, man. He in the scene. Um, put me on the flat earth, man. I wasn't going for it. I wasn't going for it. He changed my he changed my mind. He changed my life. What did he say to change your mind? He was just, he was, you know, saying everything, you know, that the flat earthers be saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just, being a human and refuting it without really thinking. Then after thinking, it just dawned on me, it hit me out of nowhere. I was like, yo, and this is like when I, this is when I really started learning and understanding duality. I was like, yo, the earth got to be flat because if it's flat, it's round too, man. Right. And That's people, a fact. You feel right, me? Exactly. Yep. Right. You know, like. I just came to that conclusion the other day. I was like, I'm mm-hmm. stupid. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. nope. they, they're saying it's round. Yes. They keep saying it's round. Mm-hmm. But it's flat round. You know, Ooh. it's like. See, that, like, we just be. The crazy thing is, too, it's like the way that we brought up and the way that we learn, the way that we teach. I mean, the way that we're taught. We all are taught how to think. So, like, when we get, like presented with some different like with a totally abstract perspective we don't even know how to process it or comprehend it so it's like the whole yin and yang thing duality like the yin and yang i always thought it was dope and everything i always looked at it i always thought i understood it until one day i understood it uh uh, what they i overstood it you know it was like i really got a chance to see what it is like how they say um and this is how i am as a person too 
how they say, uh, you know, you can't have light without darkness and you can't have darkness without light. It's like they the same thing. Right. Versus, um, like, what's another one, man? Like, here's here's when I be thinking of a lot. Cause I'm an Aries. I'm a I'm a cuss baby. I'm an Aries and a Taurus cuss. Okay, yo, you know? I'm a, I'm a cuss baby too. Hey. Uh, Gemini Cancer. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, which is a wild fucking. I believe it. I believe oh. it, man. See, <laughs> come on. But go ahead. <laughs> hey, I be thinking like uh, about war a lot, and I be thinking like, I don't think it's me personally. I don't think it's no such thing as world peace. I think it's such. I think it's such such thing as world balance. Mm. I think world is. I think war is peace, and peace is war. Mm. Like. I don't think, uh, you know, like, let's just say it was world peace. Like, would it just be world peace or would it just be human peace? You know, like, it's still, still got carnivores out here killing. They pray to eat to survive. Right. That's not peaceful. They killing them out here, but that's, it's natural. Right. You know, like, I, th- I think it's natural. I think war and peace is natural. Um, but that's like another big one that I be thinking a lot that would just keep my mind centered on the fact that, you know, everything has an opposite everything is the same everything is the opposite of itself right. it's weird the stuff be so going back to what i was saying you know how we um how we are taught how to think the stuff be so simple it'd be complicated right it'd be like a whole different world exactly but it, you it's, know it's so simple mm-hmm. it's like why did i sit here and think about all who was i just talking to about how the, the story of the bible is literally just the story of the stars see come on i was See? Was it Skull? I can't remember, but I was telling somebody that it might have mm. been on one of my other podcasts too. Um, that's real you, shit. You, did I hear you say duality? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's why you have two of everything because it is. This is a duality. It's the third dimension. Yep. Everything is duality. It's a binary system. Zeros and ones. Yeah. Left, zero, right, zero. up, down, male, female. All this. Mm-hmm. Now people try to change things like that. Right. And right. try to like go against what it actually is. Right. <laughs> now, now at the end of the day, live your truth. You said that, what? Live your truth. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what I tell everybody. I try to preach that in my music too, is to be who you are and yeah. don't let, don't care who fucking says anything about anything. Mm-hmm. If you like eating paint chips, you feel me? Out yeah. in the public, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you? you if you saying? like. You know what I mean? Whatever you like. <laughs> whatever you like, you know, do that shit. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, you on your deathbed, you're going to be like, fuck, I didn't live my life to the fullest how I wanted to, and now I'm going to die and never have the chance. Yep. Mm-hmm. And now it's your fault. No, you no one told to you to, no, Exactly. No one told you to be prudent See? and not do anything, right. what you want. So at the end of the day, I always preach, yo, do what you want to do and be yourself. Fuck what anybody else is saying. Fuck mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Because I'm, I'm a joke. <laughs> I'm a joke. Yeah, well, I fuck what I'm you. saying though. Shit, live your life. Live your, I'm I'm just a, a natural jokester. I'm a <laughs> you know, you through, right I'm a joke on you. Come <laughs> on. Shit. <laughs> and I, my friend group, that's all we do is rag on each other yeah, see? all fucking day. See? That's what you it know. is though, you know? That's that's that camaraderie, that's that fellowship, there you go. man. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm sure y'all do that in your brotherhood, the group skyward. You feel me? Yeah. Do that all the time. I'm the same type of person. I be I'm the type of person that if I'm cool, see I go I was blessed with a innate intuition with a very keen intuition it's uh like i know within the first not even four or five minutes probably not even 60 seconds of meeting you whether i'm gonna vibe with you or not right and if i vibe with you man i'm gonna be talking to you like we was friends for years right man. like just right. naturally mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. feel you <laughs> you gonna get these jokes you feel me right you, you know these, what I, mean? I, you I, I, jokes, I love man. doing that like newcomers to a group and shit mm-hmm. like that and she's like Let's see what they can take. Right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but it's never like evil. Yeah, no. Nah. You know what I mean? It's right. all it's all in jokes and, and jest and shit like that. But they be finding out like how people really are too, by how they fact. react. Yep, you know? that's a fact. One hundred percent. Are you gonna sit there and be like, Meh. Right. Then, all right, you know? get out. Right, you know, like all right, I don't feel like being you, serious you with you hundred percent. Yeah, now. right. <laughs> now I can't be myself. <laughs> yep. And, exactly. I and I don't want you in the circle. Mm-hmm. So easy as that. Yeah, man. But you usually, before you bring somebody into a friend circle or a group or something like that, you usually know that how they're, how they're going to react. True. Because you, like, vet them out. Yeah. You're not going to want to sit there and chill with somebody, like, yeah. is not of that same like-mindedness. Yeah, you're sitting there all awkward cool. and shit. You know, another thing, too, like, about Buffalo rappers, like, mm. th- the whole collective, or at least the people that I've met, they're all very like-minded. Yeah. 
They are, and they all cool with each other too. Right. Mm-hmm. You don't hear yep. about. Well, I'm also not very deep into like the new scene. I was gonna say you don't really hear about too many beefs and shit like that. You're right. Within, you within Buffalo, and if it is going on, damn. Let's right. let's come together. We're from the same patch of dirt. Exactly. Yep. You know, it's not it's not that serious. It's I never would hope that like you wouldn't let somebody from Wisconsin come over here and eat somebody else's food from Buffalo. You feel me? Right. Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> nah, you're right though. It's never it's never that serious. You know. Right. Like, let it go, man. Let it go and move on, man. Coming from the guy that said. Two minutes ago, man, I be thinking about war all the time. Right. <laughs> the fucking warlord over here. Is like, right. you know, let it go. Not always about fighting. You know, <laughs> sometimes Fire you just chill. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You see any good movies lately? I feel like it ain't been no good shit in the theaters. That's a fact, bro. <laughs> That's a fact. I done turned to trigger this man, <laughs> bro. The, uh, the last, not the last movie I seen, but the movie before that. When I tell you, that's the first. I never would have thought I ever had to do this in my life. <laughs> first time I ever fell asleep in the movie theater. Oh word! Yeah. Oh my ass be knocked. Where is he? I might ask be in the theater like. <laughs> huh, huh, huh. I fell asleep, yo! I fell asleep on shit. You're not supposed to fall asleep oh, on. Oh, don't say that. Like the oh. like the fight scene of Avengers, the last oh, one. No. I fell asleep on that shit hard. <laughs> Waiting fell, for that motherfucker, right? Yeah, like huh. four hour long movie. And Things shit, be like. high, bro. Things be high as hell <laughs> in that too, fucking though. movie theater. Mm-hmm. I can't Boy. hang. I'm sorry. <laughs> they got the dad fence. Now you can sneak some shit in. Oh God! In there, like come on. Me and my man. Uh, <laughs> Mink, shout out to uh, Ultra Mink, one of my producers. Hey. We do the podcast Dual Major together. Um, we went to go see John Wick 3. That's this, the last movie I That seen. shit was hard. Mm-hmm. I ain't fall asleep against that. I know you can't, but yeah. This, this nigga um, left his damn dad pen in the theater. We oh. get all the way outside. He's like, oh shit. Uh, don't have a pen. I'm like, come on, we in there. Run back in there. It's still on the ground, safe. Like, Cut. Oh, you lucky Cut. as hell. Well, because the cleaning work, man, man down there ain't get up here yet. He was about to smash it. He was, too. Yep. <laughs> he got the weed. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a wrap. Hell yeah. Yep. You ever smoke on the job? Oh, uh, on the job? Shit, chill. Hey, <laughs> chill. Better give me fire. Yo, man. hang I'm on. Still I mean, man yo, listen, listen, man. I don't uh, know if you at an old job, you was getting high, but now you turn a new leaf and you don't know. do the drugs at all. Nah, we still do the drugs. Oh, we still do the drugs. I'm trying to shoot you bail, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to shoot niggas bail. Nah, he we still do we, the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do the drugs. Just don't let the drugs do you. If That's you do the drugs, That's don't let fact. the drugs do you. You know, shout out ass soul, man. What, um, what you be doing, man? Lay it out. This is open up. Everything, man. Nah, e- everything. Man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Your boy do everything, man. I think I just licked the frog the other day. Nah, man. I'm pretty <laughs> nah, but for real, me, man, obviously you look at me. You ain't got to know me at all. Probably can tell I smoke weed. Right. But people that know me know me. They know my favorite drug of choice, uh, psychedelics. Okay. Shroom, shrooms to be, <laughs> to get specific. Or okay. I guess my very, very favorite would be DMT, but mostly, mm. you know, shrooms more mm. accessible. Let's I say never that. had DMT. Yeah? No. And yeah. I tried shrooms not too long ago. Really? And it wasn't that good. You didn't like it? Maybe because I didn't have enough. Well, how long ago was it? Uh, I want to say it was a good five weeks ago. Oh, word. Yeah. So, hey, not very long ago at all. Yeah, not very long ago at all. How much you do, you know? I don't know uh, measurement wise, but my boy had it he, like a tiny bit, so he split it between the both of us, mm. and so I ate it in a Subway sandwich, and I was okay. just like, "This feels like I'm just high." Yeah. Yeah, like I'm not seeing like the floor move into lava or some mm-hmm. shit. I just feel like I'm high. Yeah. My stomach hurts a little bit actually. Okay. That kind of pissed me yeah, off. Yeah. Like Sounds it was like a, right. a, like a spike in my stomach. I was like, oh. Sound about yeah. You feel very first the time. Fuck? Yeah. It's like poison. Yeah. It hey, is you poison. poison me? No, I know it is poison. It's poison. Yeah. I know what it's poison. Yeah. You probably niggas out here really doing poison, dog. Shit, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, for real though, alcohol is poison. I was just, That's the I was just about to say alcohol is Yo, poison too. That's one thing, y'all. Look what it does dust your liver. That shit yep. be fucked up. Yeah, you know, out of all the freaking psychedelics I do, everything I, all the visuals I seen, man, I ain't nothing come close to how alcohol I had you, man. How you black out Damn. from drinking, dog? Like, don't even talk know, about being blackout drunk. Like, alcohol is dangerous, y'all. They call it spirit for a reason, man. Putting them spirits in your body. Mm. You feel Come me, on, man? I ain't even pee. You feel me, man? I ain't that even peed. Alcohol ain't no joke, man. That's one thing I'm trying to lay off. I'm cutting back more and more and more. You know, maybe 
I'm be one of them motherfuckers with, with a, sitting up with some fine wine, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. I feel Talking you. about some art and some painting. Some, Hell some, yeah. Dude, know? I always wanted to go on like an art tour. I do too, or man. It's like a wine tour, but you yeah. look at the art and you're like, hmm. Man, be all the girls the that be going on that, man. But that's dope. I mean, it'd only be the girls. That's like, get out there. Shit, all right the girls that, up there. Shit, you got to fucking shit. worry about nobody else. You right? Like, shit, that dude, might be the walk spot. Up, walk up real, like, suave, like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It, painting is it's amazing. Hey, it, right. it, it moves me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a trance. <laughs> it moves me. <laughs> Grab her, kiss her hand, all that. Come on. That's nasty. Hey, hey man. <laughs> sure. Grab her and kiss her hand. She's like, excuse me. <laughs> nah, for real, don't do that, man. Shit. Yeah, nowadays. Dif- different time, Listen, right? This is a different time different nowadays. Time. These ladies guy. don't like. These ladies don't like that, man. Some do. Some do. You Some got. Do. You got. But you gotta. You gotta understand how to move out yeah. here. You're right, though. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. MMSN, though. The guy he holding it around. down. Fucking yeah, man. Freaking. It's been living, man. Definitely, yeah. definitely living. But hold on, though, real quick. Oh shit. How much? So how much? Just say off the off the sub. Well, set the same subject as the shrooms. You uh, you probably ain't, you probably ain't do enough. You probably ain't do enough, man. That's why. I oh no, say. no, I didn't. Definitely yeah. didn't. Yep. Was, I was sitting there like, yeah, I'm sweating now. Yeah, you. And gonna, I'm annoyed. You gonna but sweat? But I'm on the ground in a comforter and I feel great. Okay. All right. See. So that's where I was at. But yeah. I was like, I was expecting to see like. The wall, like, do weird yeah, shit or, like, see purple colors or something. Nah, you shit definitely like will. You just you gotta, guys gotta do, eat a bunch. Do, like, a at least. So, like, my first time, I think I did, like, a half an eighth. But you're normally supposed to do a full eighth. Okay. Like, a full 3.5 with some shrooms. A bunch of shrooms, it is, I assume. You, um, at least, yep. Yeah. Right now, if I do shrooms, if they, like, unless they some super, super, super potent shrooms, uh-huh. I'm doing at least an eighth. Okay. Maybe like four grams. Okay. Shout you ever do boy. more than that? Nah, my own boy Q did five grams. You mm. feel know I me? Mean? His his girl, he he had put his girl on the shrooms. She did five grams, so he was like, nah, I can't let her, can't let her upstage me. Right. He did that. He was he was like, man, this what we need to be on. I'm like, oh, I don't damn. know, Q. I need. <laughs> I'm like, shoot, I'm gonna take my time and work work my way up there. But well, I mean, at the end of know, the day, it is natural. Yeah, you know, it's natural. Yeah. And it's all about what you. Feel comfortable with doing right because that's a, that's a drug man that's one thing i say about that is at the end of the day man i don't care if you i don't care what color you are what ethnicity you are what species you are man what freaking county you pay taxes do anything at the end of the day before you all of that you were earthling first right you from planet earth and when you take some shrooms it remind you that i'm an earthling before i'm anything <laughs> else damn when you take some real shroom and you see some shit and you look in the when you see the energy going through through the tree, coming from Whoa. the ground in the tree. Like, oh shit! <laughs> shit is man. Ain't no joke, huh? You feel me? But it's damn. It's all love, though. It's all life. Yeah, you I'm know? trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do that one time, man. You Let do me it. Know. The person you did it with, he normally do them. Yeah, he be doing them. Okay. We sitting there making music. Okay. Yeah, the whole see. time. Mm, okay. I don't know. I don't like to do music. I don't know. I'm weird with the shroom. I guess. I'm, it I'm wasn't a, a lot, person. bro. I'm telling you, it was like. Like a stick like that, yeah. and then like a little thing, and a little other thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, now you had a little. Just, yeah, yeah, just tiny, just, just, a just tiny, tiny. Bit, so you see how it feels. Right, mm. a little tiny bit. So you notice it lasts. That shit lasts, that shit lasts hours, 12 hours. That shit lasts forever. It ain't last me that long. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> now you fucking in bed wide awake, man. Right, I'm it's f- like, what am I doing here? Remember them But the DMT, though. Mm, that that's intrigues a, me. That's a different, that's a different. Yeah, Ooh. That, that should definitely intrigue a nigga. Yeah, like, yo, uh, if y'all can get your hands on some DMT, I highly recommend y'all try that shit. Don't just be trying anything out here, though. Definitely make sure it's that shit. Um, if you can get your hands on it, it'd be the best. You don't really want to buy it because it's bad juju to sell it. It's bad juju to sell a lot of shit. But, really? You feel me? Mm. But... That's that shit, man. That's the shit we produce when we dream, when we born, and when we die. Right. And, that, and everything produces it. All plants, living things, everything produces that shit. It's wow. Spirit molecule. Joe Rogan got Joe Rogan be talking about that shit. Oh yeah, I know. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. You be peeping the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I need to catch up on them shit. Man. You listen to Joe Budden at all? A little bit. A little bit. Man. I got Joe love. Budden funny as hell. I just laugh <laughs> at the whole shit. It's I got like, a love hate relationship hilarious. with Joe Budden, man. Oh, we're, oh yeah, why? Because yeah, of yeah. Buffalo comment? That and freaking. Oh, my God. Not, <laughs> he not, has walked that back, I'm sure, a million times because of Griselda. Yeah, now, now he definitely yeah. had to. Uh, but that's where it started. But it really, it, it, I think it turned up. No, I think it, 
I think it solidified when he turned up on Yachty in that one interview or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was yep. that was fucked up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, come on, Joe. Like, you ain't you know? gonna go that fucking hard on him. Yeah, and with the Migos, disrespect. But at the same time, though, it's like, you know. That shit was hilarious. That was hilarious, though. That was hilarious, yeah. Because right. Academics was sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, man. Get to the point. Right. Uh-huh. I-, I love your music. Uh, I love it. Uh, I can't wait to see more. Uh, 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 uh. Right. And Joe was like, oh, my. you gonna sit here and dick suck this whole time. Basically. Fuck this. Yeah, yeah. Yep. What you trying to do then? Yeah, that you know shit was hilarious. Like, like oh, and then like, you see cousin in the back. I think it was Q or one of their managers. Okay, remember that the video where they like zoomed in on their faces, like uh, as he was doing, he was like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, yeah, yo, yo, yo. Oh, you gonna do that to my artist? Yeah. Like, uh, mm-hmm. pump it up was about to get pumped up. Right. You <laughs> but at the same time, you know what I mean. The last couple times I've seen some clips from Joe. He was. Saying some, you know, kind of enlightening things. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You know? he, since he broke up with Sin, he has turned into a fucking, like, guru for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, mm. it's I really enjoy that podcast. Yeah. That's and really why I started podcasting the first time with Drinks at Five. Yeah. Yeah. See? And Just I, having conversation. I see. You said what? Just having conversation. Right, you know? Yeah. That's how it, man. That's how it should be. That's how it gotta be, man. Hell yeah. Like... You feel me? I feel comfortable, man. I feel like I'm about to fucking. I feel like when we done, man. I feel like I'm about to stay here and you about to go home, man. I'm right, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> man. That's that's the good thing about it. You get comfortable and you you just have a conversation. That's all it is, and that's all we're trying to do here: is have conversation, let people know in the city more about Buffalo artists, See? to bring them to the light. I have one tomorrow, yeah. actually. Yeah. What you got, man? Oh, you ain't trying to say yet? I respect. Oh, uh, we got we got Lordy. Hey, shout out Lordy. Shout yeah, out we got God. Lordy coming by tomorrow. Hey. So that's going to be cool. That's Never met up. him before. Where? No. Yeah, Lordy the homie, man. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Shout out to God, man. I'm, yeah, happy, man. I'm happy we did this too, bro. Cause Definitely. Like, Where did I see you? Whole Foods? Was that was that Whole Foods? I think so. I was just I lived there, man. I was just there today, bro. <sighs> that's what's like, up. Yeah. I like Whole Foods a lot. That's my spot, man. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy we did this because like, like we were saying... I ain't really been on the scene, scene since 2015. Right. That's that's when me putting out my own content, but I still be around, you know, keeping ties, you know, making sure, like, you Popping know. Popping up places. Right, keeping right. ties so people see me, but it's been so long, a lot of people don't even, probably don't even know I made music. They probably be like, oh, I just know that dude. I seen him before. I, or I be seeing him out at, you know, the show or the bar right. or something, you know. Right. But, hey, we did this, you know, spread definitely, awareness, man. Definitely. We finally got to link after all this time, and that's that's a good thing. That, too. Next, mm-hmm. we got music coming. That's a fact, So, man. I'm going sh- to play you some shit um, before we get out of here, too, after this. Fact. Some fact. new shit. Yeah. Hey. But, all right, man. Thank you for coming by MMSN. Man, thank you for having me, man. No problem. Cool. This has been something new. Open up with MMSN. Marcus, my slave name. Yeah, man. It's a throwback joint. Peace out. Peace.